Hello and welcome back to the podcast box office show here on the Future Proof YouTube channel. I'm Nick Hilton. I write up this newsletter, Future Proof, which you can subscribe to on Substack, just £3.50 a month. Anyway, this is the video. We're going to be looking today at, uh, it's Valentine's Day 2022, we're going to be looking at the US homepage for Apple. And as you probably tell from my accent, I'm based in the UK. So this isn't my native homepage, but it's nice to kind of see what Americans see. And Americans are the kind of big beast podcast audience. So um, let's kind of bear it in mind. Um, so I'm just having a look at the carousel here and seeing what's what's interesting. Trojan Horse Fair, that's about, about something in in Britain, the athletic. So that's serial athletic, you know, we're getting an idea. Obviously, it was the Super Bowl last night. So it makes sense they'd have some Super Bowl content. It equally makes sense that they have here the podium, which by the looks of things is some sort of uh, Winter Olympics podcast because the Winter Olympics is also on ongoing, NBC Olympics. That makes sense. Gosh, three and a half stars. Not a great rating. Probably a few people have concerns. It's Black History Month as well, which means that... Um, Apple's kind of curating uh, across both the carousel and in this series of must listens, um, curating sort of black led podcast content. Uh, should we have a look at New and Noteworthy? Now, it's interesting because the UK store has gone to a double tiered New and Noteworthy on the front page. So it has more visibility for a great number of podcasts, whereas here on the US store, it's still just one, um, one row. But let's have a look at these. These kind of all strike me as basically things that we would see um, on the UK store as well as the US store. Um, kind of mixture of documentary podcasts. These are usually, these are kind of bigger budget ones coming from places like Pushkin, something else. Um, that's a UK one, I guess. Uh, yeah, Pushkin, Elimination, PRX, Apple Original. Apple Original sort of just buried in there amongst everything else. Uh, doesn't you know cadence 13 um i heart so yeah it's kind of those are all kind of big ones there's nothing in there which i would be like oh wow i'm really surprised that they're I'm really surprised the house of gucci interview special how, how is that still um still getting pushed stories from the heart this is good in in the sense that this suggests a degree of curation that we wouldn't see in the uk i mean this uh and advice from the heart um because the U the UK store isn't isn't sufficiently reactive. I mean, this is Valentine's Day is today, so um, I wouldn't expect the UK store to be updated that that frequently. Um, so it kind of shows that they are whoever's pulling the strings at Apple HQ is is, is a bit more on it. Um, the battle for the Lombardy. I don't even know what that means, but I assume it's something Super Bowl related. Vaguely, the moment. Gosh, that's kind of hard to know it's streaming season so they've got yeah so they've gone for a playlist of tv rewatch stuff um anyway that's all kind of what you see on the front page and let's just have a quick look at the top shows and what's um what's doing well trojan horse fair which is the new serial number one serial in the new york times and then the daily number two so you've got a new york times top two audio chuck at three and six too so that you know that's that's good look at this the bible in the year you certainly wouldn't find that here in the UK, um, and yeah, it's interesting. The kind of you get, I would say, like the the New York Times and the NPR content that you see here is sort of um, of a similar ilk, and then you've got Ben Shapiro there, which suggests that there's maybe a bit more plurality in the um, in in how things are listened to in the US. I mean, I I think here in the UK you do get some conservative media doing relatively well, but. Um, but certainly the, the BBC dominates things and the BBC is notionally apolitical but sort of does offer a relatively lukewarm, centrist version of politics. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is basically The Daily and Crime Junkie and Stuff You Should Know, This American Life. These are all some things that we would always consider to be in the top 10 uh, worldwide um, most listened to podcasts. So it's sort of um, clear that this this is a relatively static looking front page. I mean, this is only launched in the last uh, few days, but you can see it's already got 2000, um, 2000 ratings slash reviews. So it's, it's certainly, you know, 
a huge kind of introduction it's a huge kind of blockbuster podcast um you can see the original serial is down here and yeah i mean it's just it is what it is it's serial um but yeah it kind of shows you that you've got these you've got true crime and basically news those seem to be the ones that do the best in the u.s charts and i think the new stuff is to some extent the fact that you, the sheer density i mean look these are all we're two weeks into february and they've produced all of these episodes it's a daily podcast as per per the, the name so you know that the, the new stuff has a big advantage over true crime in, in terms of just the density of output um although you know crime junkie is successful at 309,000 reviews it's you know that's in, in, incredible figures um it's it's successful not not least because it um they can output so much you know the, the all of these episodes for, for a true crime show to be able to do that many episodes is it's kind of unusual look we're talking morbid we're talking about episode 298 um my favorite murderer you're looking at uh episode 313 these are just kind of insane figures for 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 doc what, what what a format that is normally associated with documentary podcasting you would never be able to do that so um it's just once again this the, the chart here is just dominated by always on shows um whether that's uh new stuff or true crime stuff that is just spaffing out content at a rate that um a rate of knots all right well that's a nice nice look at it february 14th 2022 please go to futureproofnews.substack.com forward slash subscribe to sign up to the newsletter.